Concerns over cultural appropriation and a battle over Indigenous burial grounds are just two issues being faced following a proposal by a private company to build a gondola over this river valley in Edmonton. Prairie Sky Gondola plans to build a two and a half kilometer line stretching from downtown to the old Strathcona neighborhood, costing the city and taxpayers zero dollars. There is one problem though, the company would be building in Rossdale, an area sacred to Indigenous people, many concerned about the disruption of traditional burial grounds and ancestral remains. It's horrifying today to sit and listen to people speak without acknowledging the significance of this site, to feel erased on your own land. I have relatives buried at this site. I visit them regularly and I leave offerings for them. This is still a place used by Indigenous peoples. It isn't empty. Prairie Sky Gondola responding to concerns about the project, saying in a statement, it has been our intent from the beginning to retain an Indigenous-led team to perform proper subsurface scans using remote testing equipment, likely to include ground-penetrating radar. Should the results disclose the existence of an underground burial site, we would have no intent or desire to proceed further. They go on to say, we have made genuine attempts to engage with Indigenous peoples in a thoughtful and respectful fashion and following traditional Indigenous protocols. We were grateful to be invited into ceremony and for the project to receive a Cree name. We are proud for the Gondola to have a Cree name. Many criticizing the company for using a Cree name. Aaron Paquette, a Métis Edmonton City Councillor for Ward Dene, tweeting, Today I witnessed a corporation taking advantage of what is normally considered a sacred ceremony, a ceremony that many Indigenous people do not have access to due to the impacts of colonization in the most cynical way possible and without certain permissions. It's unsettling. If Prairie Sky is not willing to change the route or cancel the project with Indigenous community feedback, then what is the purpose of that engagement other than to mine traditional Indigenous knowledge for marketing and tourism purposes? There are other concerns about the location of the gondola, like the potential for flooding and the impacts on land agreements. One city councillor also concerned it would take away riders from using public transit. City Council will vote on the proposal Monday. From Edmonton, Bailey Nitty, City News.